the UEE has commissioned you to help their advocacy agents hold off a local gang in the area. They're backed by Aegis Dynamics and Anvil Aerospace. You guys are in good standing. Things are understood. You keep them informed and armed. They allow you safe passage. No questions asked. However, you've been making great money with Drake Interplanetary recently and think that maybe your long-term future is with them. Unfortunately, that local gang, well, Drake doesn't want to admit it, but that's a high stake in their game. Your standing with both companies is on the line here. What do you do? This is one of the largest parts of Star Citizen's mission system, progression system, and faction system. And it's sliding in quite stealthy. Let's talk about reputation. Thank you for coming to my tomato talk. Thanks to my newest supporters, Mike Homer and Afro Ronin 92. Back in August, a little feature made its first appearance on the monthly report. It snuck in there, an everyday sentence that actually held a pretty major part of the game. It was briefly mentioned in the community, I only covered it in any major way in one video, but generally not much was thought of it. Surprising, considering it has always been thought of as the secondary currency in the game after UEC. Much like the older games. It's a feature that has been mentioned as far back as 2015 and was played around with in last year's 3.12 update. But finally, the reputation system is seeing a proper first rollout. And if you stick around, I will explain why I think this will change the game forever in some big ways. See, before this, while reputation had been mentioned here and there, it only really popped up in reference as a game mechanic. Not much has been formally known of how it would work or even the realistic goals of the feature. And I will say even now, the scope is a bit up in the air, but we've had several things confirmed. First, let's talk about the immediate future. Reputation, as I've mentioned, is a currency in Star Citizen. You're going to have the ear of your favorite company or corporation in-game, and you're going to be able to use that to your advantage when working with that company or even their friends and foes. There will be two factors to your standing with these companies. There's affinity, which measures the overall standing with the company you have. Will Drake refrain from putting a bounty on you because you mean too much to them? It's essentially how much they like you and what your reputation on the street are, combined. Then there's confidence and career. Confidence being exclusive to the specific people who give you the missions. This is more personal. How good are you at your job? How much can they count on you to be precise and efficient? Career is the expanded version of that, differing in that it can be viewed from different angles as it refers to entire companies. What I mean by this is you'll have different scopes through which a company can perceive you, different departments, if you will. For instance, going back to Aegis Dynamics, perhaps you aren't already a big player in their military game, ranking in as a trainee in their security division, which consists of things like protections, escorting, and policing. But you have been having a grand time running undercover for them conducting espionage while maintaining their trade relations with the local mining companies. So while you may be a trainee in their military scope, you're considered a field agent in espionage and a partner in business. Strange though, how this appears to be a bit inconsistent with Hurston Security and Hurston Dynamics being listed as allies in this newest update. Perhaps this means that other parts and departments of the company can either be foes or allies to the part that you're working with, or the design changed in between these two shots. Either way, the ability to increase your standing with these people in their respective field will determine things like higher payout, extra items, lower prices, and other important perks that you get when working for them. Acting as a solid reward system for participating, but clearly this is not meant to be the overarching reason for this system in the long run. MMOs often focus on building lore and narrative through the use of factions, and for good reason. They are natural in society and a big driving force for action. 
Up until now, Star Citizen has had these factions, but they offered no motivation, no lore, no backdrop. They were just the company that housed that mining facility, or the security team that assisted on a recent bounty. The company that owns this planet? Good for them, but what's that to you? With a single addition, Cloud Imperium have added context and meaning to these companies that resonate more than the pages of descriptions on the website that already exist. And despite the missions, perks, and other details of this system no doubt taking their sweet old time to actually be added, this is your start line. There is now more to play for than just money or fun, but the possibility of unlocking that new mission, or meeting another mission giver, or committing that crime with a little less security response. These are all possibilities to progress towards now. We can now start to see where the lines are drawn, why the laws are the way they are, and who might be able to get you into the pyro system easily. The reputation system is a unique addition, as a gateway for mission progression and an organizer of lore. And its arrival may not be a coincidence. While I'll be releasing a video that talks more about this next month, I believe priorities and development are beginning to shift back towards content. The reputation system works best with missions to work with from multiple parties. This could very well mark the beginning of more diverse missions being added. This is also another big part of the game that depended on other features being included. Flexing the item variable tracking system, item 2.0, in line with the item tracking system, iCache, Reputation could tap into analytics to determine how characters or factions may respond to you based on the ship you're using, the armor you're wearing, or if you've been maintaining your character's health and hygiene. Many things could affect this reputation and faction system. How you respond to them, the decals on your ship, how you respond to their allies, your flight skill, your standing with the local law, a list of things. Now these things are going to need to be added at another time, but this is essentially the alpha implementation of the reputation system, and thus the faction system. It will be available to all players in the next couple of weeks from Publish, and I believe will be a game-changing addition that will take a few quarters to really start to see the advantage of. I have no doubt this system will expand to scale for multiple star systems and entire governments and alien races, but for now, this UI, and hopefully this functionality, will do. I'll be reviewing the feature to give you all the details when the patch goes out, so make sure to subscribe here for more up-to-date opinions, feature dives, and entertainment in Star Citizen. And feel free to support me on Patreon to get early videos and other perks, as well as to help me keep doing this. Thanks for sticking around, I'll see you later. Thanks to my top supporters TK Benen, Valiant15, The Alpaca, The Huntress, Holston Coop, Dasek, Falcus Vipus, Guilty Conscious, Extreme Tuber7, and Matthew Zimes.